shall ever be your strength and your comfort. When all is said and done, I would ask a favor of you. Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. Here we are back again about to complete part two for the Dark Apocalypse. So the final quest here looks to be Crime and Punishment. Konog would attend to simpler matters before embarking on any further missions related to unfathomable technology and the applications thereof. Which seems like the smart thing to have been doing from the beginning. Come to think of it, none of us ever did get the chance to enjoy the carnival. Really? You're worried about that now? It's possible everyone is still carrying on with it. I've never known a few explosions to dampen their spirits before. Still, I might go and check on them. Come in, Anok. Fine. Oh, now what? What's all that noise? I suppose there's only one way to find out. Now, I don't think that these are more androids, but... It's loud. Yeah, she doesn't seem concerned, so I don't think we need to worry about androids here. Oh, no. I had a feeling this would happen. So many dwarfs. Big Sight Chief, this was what I was afraid of. I always knew those brats were up to something. The village is in shambles. My house may as well be a pile of kindling. Didn't like that. Didn't like that at all. No, ma'am. Them things came straight from here. I sat out my own two eyes. And that's that. I swear my granddad's grave. Why me? Will you all shut- Oh, beg your pardon. Bit preoccupied with my duties at the moment. But please, we didn't mean for any of this to happen. Please calm down. It's a complicated solution, and even we are not fully- We ain't here for your excuses. Just admit it. This is all your fault. You let those things in through the tunnels. They knew you, and look what they did to the place. We don't care about the whys and wherefores. We want to know how you plan to make amends. We'll do everything we can, I swear, but... <sighs> I don't think this is going anywhere good. The village is still in danger. No one wants to hear it from me, though. Please, can you speak with Elder Glag and make him understand? Who might you be? Haven't seen your face around here before, or have I? Misplaced my spectacles some time ago. No matter. I'm here to investigate, not conversate. As the eldest elder, it falls to me to determine the truth of the rumors surrounding this disaster. The problem being, of course, that everyone here is as stubborn as a diamond ingot. They all insist that they know what's true, though you can be sure half of them are up to their eyeballs and ale at any given time. I need a second opinion. A sober opinion. Here, let me smell your breath. You'll do. Speak with the villagers and think well on who has the right of it. Then I'll hear what you have to say. Lahai, I knew we'd end up here some day, ho. It's hard to know where to place the blame. 
I understand why you followed along with Anok's plan, but if you all had been just a little more careful... Well, he's got a point there. You! You're the collaborator! Well, don't think you can come crying to me now that it's all gone wrong. It's plain as the day on Anog's the type to charge ahead without a care for who she might be getting mixed up in in her troubles, and her brother ain't much better. You wanna know what I think? We're doomed! DOOMED! Anok could have saved us from those things, I just know it. There ain't no way a clever girl like her wouldn't have found a way to fight him. If only that brother of hers weren't always holding her back. Wait, you're that outsider, ain't you? Don't worry, I don't blame you. I can see you're the sort that knows how to take control of the situation. I'm sure you supported Anog as best you could. I didn't do it. Oh, Anog and Karnog, you say? Yeah, well, they did do it. It was them. And you. I heard that you followed Anok into the machine graveyard. Put out my own two ears, I did. Everyone knows it too, so you better be prepared to pay. This'll be all Anok's fault, you hear? That girl never had an ounce of prudence. If only she were a little more like her brother. She ought to have left that machine graveyard well enough alone, that she insisted on barging in anyway, heedless of all danger. That's what happened, mark my words, and Anok had better answer for it. Yeah, I can't tell who's a guy or girl here, so I'm just guessing. So the fool still can't agree on which way is up. Wish I was surprised. Let's try putting it to a vote, eh? Maybe the ones pretending to know more about the matter than they really do will think twice about making arses of themselves so publicly. Can't none of you stitch your beards for half a moment? I'm asking you to raise your hands in an orderly fashion! This is hopeless. We're not getting anything useful from them. I'm not ruling out that the ones of the idiots accidentally have the right of it, but in your sober judgment, who's to blame? If you still ain't sure, you can try talking to everyone again, though I can't say I recommend it. Just make sure you don't take any detours past the ale cases until this is settled. <laughs> really? Uh, then again, a sober answer is probably the best kind of answer that they need right now. Were we that wrong? Didn't we try our hardest? Well, yeah, I mean, it wasn't your fault that the androids attacked the village and everything, but... Still passively sober, I see. Have you come to your conclusion? It's all Anog's fault. It's all Konog's fault. Both Anog and Konog are to blame. It's complicated. We're all doomed. Doomed! I haven't decided yet. Yeah, I mean, this is really the best answer. It's complicated. Interesting. I'll take that under advisement. Um, everyone, I stand before you to present my findings regarding cubability and the destruction that has befallen our village. Please wait, it's my- As I've said, blaming yourselves is pointless. This is my doing. One of them! Run! Run for your lives! Are you defending us? There's no benefits to petty arguments. Wait! She says that, but I think it was kind of her to intervene. Uh, 
I'll try speaking to the others, see if I can't get them to understand that there's more going on here than it appears. Well, she feels really bad about this. I'm sure she went to check on her friend, the other android, 9S. I'm going to go and talk to her. It's pointless to fight your own. I appreciate you stepping in, but I don't want everyone to see you as the enemy. If we go and talk to them now, we can explain. That's not necessary. I'm leaving anyway. This is not over. For us or the machines. What are you thinking, 2B? I'm worried for Anok as well. She hasn't been herself since, well... If she's not here, she's probably drowning herself in work. Come on, we should check on her. She's not here! What is she doing? This isn't the time to be outside alone! We need to find her. I'll look around the village, but can you search the outskirts? Oh, Anog. Yeah, she probably just feels terrible about this. Because, I mean, she's still just a kid, like I said before, so it's really not her fault what happened. But again, probably should have been a lot more cautious and taking things slow instead of just jumping right into this whole thing. So, I mean, if I were her, I would probably be going out there... Just trying to get some answers to what's going on. Okay, so you see no sign of your despondent dwarven friend. Perhaps she wandered further afield. Alright, let's go look. See no sign of your dependent dwarven friend. Perhaps she wandered further afield. Wow, she certainly got far real quick on those little dwarven legs. And I think she's in the tunnels. Yeah, it's hard painting with the tell around this place. There are definitely tunnels below us, so. Though you have searched all of likely places, Anok is- Hey! You know, you didn't have to do that! Oh, 
knockout. Try that again. Okay, though you have searched all likely places, Anog is not to be found. Perhaps Konog has some additional ideas. Alright. Let's head out this way. Oh, it's so foggy here. I can't see anything. Yeah, you can still see the balloons from here. It's like the only colorful thing that we have left in this area. Oh, look who's here. Well, Masai, we haven't had any treasure aside from that glorified scrap metal come out of that accursed machine graveyard. But the village in this state, though, I wouldn't say no to some of that. Hey, I'll see what I can dig up. I'll admit I had a lot of theories on tapped veins, hidden treasures, secret thole made volcanoes designed to erupt in unison and wipe out all life aside from their automaton army, but hostile flying machines from beneath the mountain wasn't one of them. Wow, you are paranoid. Honestly, I think I would have preferred the thralls infiltration to this. I have some choice words for those things that destroyed all of our lovely decorations. My husband doesn't like it when I use most of them, though. He has delicate sensibilities. Oh, I can see which one of them wears the pants in the family, then. And after we worked so hard, hard as we ever worked at any rate. <laughs> okay. Ooh, there's the elder. I'm too old for this. Well, it's hard to tell. <laughs> you all have beards and have your heads covered, so... Big Sight Chief. Anog and Konog are reckless and stubborn and have gotten into a few screws loose, but everyone should know they'd never harm the village on purpose. Should. Oh no. I want to see some punishment with my own two eyes. Stitch your beard so I can tell you about the doom. We ain't letting those rats get away with this just because some lady with a sword says so, are we? Well, this lady with a sword says you do. Konog had best find a way to fix this if you ask me. Where did that Anog run off to now? Okay, I get it. You guys are all upset and angry. You have every right to be, but come on. Did you see those flying things? I'd love to take a wrench to one of those. Yeah, there we go. That's the attitude you need. What do you want in that time of all times? Okay, I'm gonna leave you alone. Hey, Konog. Anog isn't with you? What do I do? This is all because of us, and I... I don't know how to find her. I'm not used to being alone. You know, maybe they should have waited until after the carnival to try to fix 2P. I think that had all of this happened afterwards, they probably would be too drunk to even care. I'm no good on my own. Oh, come on, buddy. You seem to be the more sensible one of the two. <laughs> That's actually a good idea. I think he needs a hug. Hug. Okay. Well, everyone, thank you all so much for watching. I have no idea where the story is going to go to next, but until next time, you all take care, and I guess I'll be seeing you back here in about six months or so for 5.5. So until then, take care, and this is Claire signing out.